There's our big red ball in 4K. We, we didn't shoot that part, it was just rendered. So this shot is the time tank watch from our good friends at Oakley. How handy the founder of Oakley is also the founder of Red. So we have lots of good props to work with. And you can just see, if you look at the detail and the way the focus fall off works and how it picks up the light, it's really unlike anything that's out on the market today, either HD or digital cinema grade stuff. It's a different type of image. That's my friend Joanne. You can meet her in person, not quite as large as that, uh, at the booth tomorrow if you want. That's her in 4K. Now we, we seem to have this affinity for cigars. I think that could be because of our, our founder's affinity for cigars. Spent long sessions with Jim uh, and uh, non-stop cigar smoking. The contact buzz is pretty intense, I gotta tell you. <laughs> But we like a lot of these shots from a standpoint of really demonstrating how rich the blacks are and how nice the contrast holds and how the separation of some, you know, dark to dark in terms of the focus fall off and the separation of the light and the way the motion is working. So all these shots were at 24 frame. And you can see the detail in her skin, you know, just things that you couldn't see in any other camera and luckily we have a 4K projector to look at them on. This is the Juliet uh, sunglasses from Oakley. And what's interesting to me is you really see the modeling in the metal. And this is actually my favorite shot of all. All the little hitches in the dolly are all real. And it just, you know, I just love this shot. And you can really see the dynamic range here because that light is probably 12 to 14 stops hotter than the car and it's holding detail and it's not blown out. There's all the people that helped make, us, make it real. Those <laughs> of you that don't know, it was quite a shock at NAB when we said we were gonna do a 4K camera for that price. Well, that price still stands, $17,500, that's for the camera body. We were thinking about doing the sensor optional and charging a whole bunch more money for that, but we thought that probably wouldn't go over too well. It's 17,500 bucks. That's what you get, including the 4K sensor. Okay, so what are you gonna lens those 4K images with? And you guys asked some questions about what lenses we use. Well, you can certainly use any of the industry standard 35 millimeter primes. There's a lot of good choices out there. Cook and Zeiss and Anjanou, some good examples. But we also have our own. This is our first lens, 300 millimeter prime, so a long throw prime. Complete cinema grade PL mount 35, under $5,000. And I think I mentioned it before, even though it was supposed to sort of be secret and dramatic, but I kind of mentioned it. We have a Zoom 1885 F2.8, still under development. Cinema grade PL mount under $10,000. So we're looking for the whole program here. We want to bring everything in line. Keep everything in the logic point of how you're going to shoot with our camera. Use all these tools. I know a lot of people didn't believe it up till today, but now you guys saw it. This is the beginning. This is where we start. <laughs>